In this section, we're going to talk about finding derivatives using the limit process. We're going to use this right here in order to find a derivative. So what a derivative is, it's an expression for the slope. So we can find the slope at any particular x value on a certain curve we're looking at. In this case, we're looking at 1 minus x squared. So in the previous section, we talked about we have the formula with x sub zeros in each of those. We're not going to do that in this case. Instead, we're going to do it in the general case, so our answer is going to have an x in it. Notice the notation that we're using here for a derivative. This notation right here means the derivative of f of x. Okay, so that's the proper notation that we're going to use here, and this is the formula that we're going to apply, is this one here, using limits. Now, we could do each of these problems separately. It says find the derivative and then plug these numbers in. So I could have actually put negative 3 in for x and 0 in. That's what we were doing in the previous section. However, what we're going to do instead that's going to be easier is we're going to go through and find the general derivative first that's going to have just x in it. And then when we're done, we can plug in these individual values to get the answer. So let's get started. This we're going to put in x plus h in for f. So we're going to put that into here in place of the x. So we'll write the rest of it out, limit, we're going to do first, and then we're going to put in x plus h. It looks like this, we have x plus h goes in there, and then we have minus f of x. Now f of x is the original function, 1 minus x squared over h. So this is the same process you would have done in pre-calc when you're finding the difference quotient. It's just that now we're just adding the limit part on it. We're going to continue this. Okay, we're going to expand the part inside of here. So I'm going to do 1 minus, this all has to be inside parentheses, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then we're going to subtract this whole thing. So I'm going to distribute the minus sign for all those. You get minus 1 plus x squared, and then we're dividing all this by h. We need to expand all this out. We're going to do limit as h goes to 0, and we're going to distribute the minus sign, minus x squared, minus 2xh, minus h squared, minus 1 plus x squared. The place I see most people making the mistake on this is not distributing the minus sign correctly either here or here. So you just got to be careful when you're doing that. Okay, so now we're going to cancel out like terms. The 1 cancels and the x squares cancel, and then we're left with something that has h's only uh, in the answer. So what I'm left with is I have the limit, h goes to zero, and then I have minus 2xh minus h squared, all that's gonna be over h. Now what you wanna do is you want to factor out the h from the top, because then you can cancel it on the bottom. So we're gonna do this, I'll take out a, uh, write the h out first, so we're going to do h, and then we have negative 2x minus h on the bottom, h, both of these are going to cancel out. Now, what you're left with, this part on top, you're going to put a 0 in there for the h. That's going to leave you with negative 2x minus 0, and that's going to leave you with 2x. Here's what the proper notation. You're going to put the derivative of x, that notation, that's going to equal negative 2x. So what this means is that this is an expression for me to find the slope at any place on that curve 1 minus x squared. Now that we have this complete, we can now answer the rest of these questions. Okay, so now we want to find the um, specific answers here. We're going to do f primed of 3, that's another way of saying it, f primed of 3. That means you want to find the derivative, use the derivative function and put a 3 in there for x. So this is going to be negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. Then we're going to find the derivative at 0, negative 2x, we're using the same formula, negative 2 times 0 equals 0. Finally, f primed of 1 half putting that in there, negative 2 times a half right there, and that's going to give you negative 1 uh, as the answer. So our here's the first part of it they asked us to find. We used the limit process on that, and we got f prime of x is negative 2x. Then we use that in order to find the other ones.